Today we'll be reading The Music in Me by Jane Pingsup, illustrated by Brad Davies. Sam wanted to make music. He loved music. Music had been a part of his world ever since he was a baby. He watched his parents make music on the piano. They would play duets and sing as they filled the air with beautiful songs. Sam wanted to make music too, but when he sat at their piano and touched the keys, he heard plink, plank, plonk. It didn't sound like music at all. Only noise. Sam loved to watch his big brother, Mike, play in the high school marching band. He played the tuba and could make the most thrilling, big sounds. Mike would march and play and Sam would watch. He wanted to make big tuba music too. One day, Sam tried to play Mike's tuba from the top, from the side, standing up, of course. Then he crawled underneath the tuba. He wibbled and wobbled and finally toppled over on poor Sam. When Sam's sister Michelle played the violin, he loved to watch her fingers pluck the strings as she filled the air with melody. Her fingers look like little dancers, he thought to himself. When Sam tried to pluck the strings, he didn't hear melody, but plink, plink. And when he bowed in the violin, he heard squeak. Quack! As Sam watched his whole family make music, it all looked so easy for them, but he felt very left out. He was not part of their musical world. There didn't seem to be a single instrument that was just right for him. I give up. I hate music. It's too hard. Sam stomped off to his room, threw himself on his bed, and cried himself to sleep. As he tossed and turned, he saw a magic music man standing before him. And the magic music man seemed to look a lot like Sam's dad. Sam scratched his head and said, Do I know you? Have we met? The magic music man answered, It swings, it sings from year to year. It floats and waves into my ear. It moves, it grooves, it shakes the blues. It makes my toes tap in my shoes. What I'm talking about is the music in me. I'm in the music and the music's in me. It's all a beautiful symphony. Suddenly, the magic music man turned around, but this time he looked more like Sam's brother. Sam scratched his head and said, Do I know you? Have we met? The magic music man replied, It booms, it zooms right from the heart. It keeps the rhythm of my art. 
It hums, it strums when I am sad. It is the friend I've always had. It twirls, it swirls me in a trance. It makes me want to sing and dance. It zings, it dings and gives me hope. It makes me sing into my soap. The magic music man spun around again with yet another trick, appearing to look a lot like Sam's sister. Sam scratched his head and said, do I know you? Have we met? The magic music man replied, what I am talking about is the music in me. I'm in the music and the music's in me. It's all a beautiful symphony. It sways, it plays just like I do. It plays and sways until it's through. It hops, it bops from place to place. It puts a smile upon my face. Sam followed the magic music man as they marched, tapped, and swirled around the room together. And then he handed Sam a tambourine. Sam could feel the music everywhere, even inside of him. Finally, he understood that the music was him all along, just waiting to come out. He danced, jumped, twirled, and sang, I am a music machine. A hand clapping, chest slapping, toe tapping, mouth rapping, foot stomping, finger snapping, tambourine tapping, music making machine. Sam was the music and the music was Sam. Then poof, the magic music man was gone. Sam woke up and rubbed his eyes. Wow, I must have been dreaming, he thought. Then he felt something under his pillow. He flipped it over and there was a tambourine with a note on it. For Sam. He picked it up, got out of bed, and began to make his own kind of tune. He could not stop. His whole family heard him and joined in. At long last, Sam understood. He just needed to look, not outside, but in, to find the music that was waiting for him. <laughs>